Hey everybody, I'm Tyler Young with the Virginia Department of Wildlife Resources. Today we're out on the Stanton River doing some hook and line fishing, targeting primarily walleyes, but as you'll see here in a minute, we've caught a variety of species today. Today the water conditions are kind of dirty, so we've chosen some lighter color baits, but these are common baits for catching walleyes. Those might include swim baits, and hard or crank baits. We have a deep diving style and a more shallow to mid-depth diving jerk bait. To be most effective, I like to fish near the bottom where the walleyes tend to stay. Um, so using a swim bait style, I'd pick a jig head that you can keep near the bottom but not too heavy that you're getting caught on the bottom. We're out here on the Stanton River, got our first fish today. Uh, Little walleye here. Uh, I'm throwing a white swim bait on a seven foot spinning rod. Nothing near the bottom. Came right up and thumped it. Walleyes tend to stay in some deeper habitats. So when flows are low, we're targeting the main channel and near structure, either ledges or timber that we think is near deeper holes. As the water uh, it comes up, we're fishing some eddies and pockets closer towards the bank. If you plan on fishing the Stanton River, I recommend bringing a fair amount of tackle and things you're not afraid to lose because as you can see, there's a lot of structure in this river and you will get hung up. Today, we have slightly muddy water and low flow conditions, but the river can change rapidly and it's important to check the local USGS gauge before coming out on the river when you're planning your trip. Walleyes are considered a cool water species and fishing often peaks in the springtime. But here at Rivers in Virginia, you can catch walleyes throughout the year with the proper tactics. So come on out to the Stanton River and give walleye fishing a try and you never know what you might catch. For more information on the Stanton River and its fisheries, we're going to send it over to fisheries biologist Dan Michelson. Hello, my name is Dan Michelson. I'm an aquatic biologist with the Department of Wildlife Resources. We're going to talk today about the walleye fishery at the Stanton River. The Stanton River is an 81 mile stretch of the Roanoke River, which runs from Leesville Dam up around Gretna down to the confluence with the Dan River where it forms Bugs Island Lake, and that's down around Clarksville and Boydton. The river is a really cool uh, feature of this part of the state. The upper half of it to Brook Neal is real deep and clear with some of the larger boulders and rock. There's also some braiding up around Long Island, so it's a beautiful stretch of river. Uh, that stretch is dominated by smallmouth bass and the walleye fishery that's really starting to develop. Also even rock bass and brim species. The lower half of the river below Brook Neal kind of widens out, becomes a little more sandy and slower moving. That's really dominated by the three catfish species, blue cats, channel catfish, and, and flatheads. There's also largemouth bass, Kentucky spotted bass, and smallmouth in that stretch of river. There's several float trip opportunities on the stand, but you'll want to do your research with this one. There's only five concrete boat ramps on, public boat ramps on Stanton River, and one canoe launch up below Leesville Dam. Uh, there's a lot of distance between those ramps, so you'll want to make sure that you can make a day float out of it if you're going to do that, or plan on camping somewhere. The walleye fisheries really started to come on in the last few years by stocking Leesville Reservoir. Uh, we're stocking about 150,000 fingerlings there annually. They tend to raise up a little bit, then they pass through the dam during the electricity generation, which is on an hourly cycle. Uh, they get into the river and have become a really good fishery in the, in the Stanton River, especially below Leesville Lake and, and pockets of water down all the way into Brook Neal. Uh, to get a handle on how much that fishery is being used, we've done an exploitation study that we just started this past winter where we have tagged 300 different walleye and, and saw guy in the, with Floyd tags, they're yellow tags in the back of the, the walleye, and the reward tag. So if you catch one and you can return it, my address is on there, so if you can send that to me, you'll get a $20, $20 reward and it really helps me to determine how heavily fished the fishery is. As of right now, we've only gotten 30 tags back this first year, so there's about a 10% 10, 10 uh, exploitation rate. And of those, there's only been about 15% of those fish harvested. So it's a, a developing fishery, one that most people really don't know much about yet. Um, we're trying to get you guys exposed to that fishery because walleye is one of the, the best tasting and, and funnest fish to catch in Virginia right now. So. Come on out to the Stanton River, uh, give it a try, and have a great day out on the water.